Hey everyone, Eric with Rock Connection. In this video of how it's made, let's talk about Mark's 389 Pete. There is a lot going on on this little truck right here, but um, it was a lot of fun to make and I'm glad it's, uh, glad it's now done and he can enjoy it. We'll start at the beginning. All I did was take an OEM grill here and cut these vertical bars out. You can kind of see a little leftover glue in there. I've never, I have still yet to figure out how to take that out so you don't see it anymore. Anyways, it's there. And uh, yeah, don't know what to say about that. The purple paint here, this was kind of a booger to get. It used to be I could buy purple paint or matched paint so easy, but now it's become a challenge. The company I was using changed their systems and now they can't make paint quite as easily as they used to. So luckily Mark had some paint left over from a project and I was able to uh, get that from him and we could use that. So two-tone paint, top, bottom, these uh, cab panels and sleeper panels here, these were af added after the fact. Those are styrene plastic and glued in place. So I assembled everything and then painted the styrene plastic purple to match and then added the decoration afterward. Speaking of decoration, on the real truck, this York decal has actually got a lot of chrome on it. However, I can't print chrome or, or metallics. So uh, the graphic artist did the best he could and you can see it's kind of got a little bit of a, a bluish hue to it, but there's that. Uh, window chop out of my store that I sell, OEM miter cut pipes. Well, actually these are turnouts, at, but I put a miter on them. Uh, def tank out of the parts bin. That's an OEM def tank, OEM uh, visor. Bullet lights here come out of my store. The shock box here, the airline box there all come out of my store. This is an OEM pogo stick with the line shortened up. And then I drilled the holes out in this airline box and then stuck those airlines in them. Uh, that's an OEM deck plate painted purple out of my uh, parts bin. These fenders, I picked them up somewhere. I don't know, recall where I bought them, but I know you can get, buy this style of fender from different vendors online. I just don't know who, but I have seen them around. Uh, this T-bar in front of the rear axles with the peel and stick lights, all that's sold in my store along with this T-bar on the back and those peel and stick lights. And then this is sold in my store as well. So yeah pretty clean build pretty nice like i said there was just a lot going on it took quite a bit to get this together but i'm pretty pleased with it and now mark gets to enjoy it by the way he is getting a uh, dcp step deck to pull behind it that's what he pulls in real life so that is also making the trip with it but it's a dcp step deck nothing fancy there all right that's how mark's truck was made thanks for watching